Okay, well, today we are back on the CTF 900 from Pioneer. So today we're going to be exchanging the idler tire in the front. So I had to replace the spring that pushed the idler tire up in the air. But we'll get into all that in a moment. The top has to come off. The face has to come off. Three screws on this side. Three screws on this side. Three screws across the bottom. Three screws across the top. Okay. So let me get the top off and get the face off. I'll be right back. Okay top is off to get the face off you have to be very careful to lift up on this plastic cassette tape retention lever so as you're sliding the face off be very careful to push up on this you don't want to break it I'll be right back okay so I propped the deck up on some washcloths and stuff so I could get a better look at it. So this here has to come off. And you do that by prying over on this little black plastic clip right here. Be careful. Don't break it. Okay. And then this will come out and come out. Okay. So I can't do that and hold the phone at the same time. So I'll be right back. Okay, so with the plastic thing removed, this brake will have to be removed. So you have to unhook this spring right here. Okay. Okay, and then this will just lift up out of here. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the original idler tire. <clears throat> this is the one from eBay. Okay. So, it looks to me like as if the tire is just slipping. The real motor is spinning in reverse. But it seems like to me like it's not gripping. Okay. But it plays... Okay, but you can see it is slipping a little bit. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to remove this idler tire very carefully. You do not want to push down on the idler tire, okay, because there's a little spring in there. It's extremely small, okay, and I had to replace it because it was very weak. This is the original spring right here. So I took another spring from a Marantz cassette deck and cut it shorter, okay. So this has more strength, more upward force, okay. No matter how many times I tried to increase the diameter of the tire, it was useless because there wasn't enough upward pressure. Okay. So, now it's time to put a brand new idler tire on there. And I hope it fits. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to just use some tweezers and remove the tire. I'm not going to fuck around with the C-clip. I'm not going to remove it. There's a spring behind it. And I don't even want to open up that can of worms. Okay. So. Let's see how this eBay tire fits. I'll be back. Okay. Since the tire has been removed. I'm going to clean the real motor pulley with some isopropyl alcohol 
and just for the hell of it since the brake has been removed and these turn nice and freely I might as well clean them with a little isopropyl alcohol here's the new tire here's the old tire I might be seeing things but this one looks a little bigger but I measured them and they are the same so maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me uh, so who knows but okay let me clean this up with alcohol and then slip this new tire on that pulley so I'll be back okay that was kind of a pain in the ass <clears throat> so but the new tire is in there okay so you want to check and make sure there's no high spots okay so so it looks pretty good let's get a little test play Fast forward. Rewind. That's the auto stop kicking in. Play. Got all kinds of torque. That's very good. Okay, so I say we put the little cassette holder piece back up there and try it out oh I forgot I gotta put the brake back on so I'll be right back okay you gotta take your time putting that back on also because you break at you're in a world of shit I'm just saying so let's see Let's press rewind. Nice. Man, fast and quiet. Fast forward. Excellent. Play. Now it's not hooked up to the, spe to the speakers because YouTube just loves giving me strikes, okay? And they ban my videos all over the world, okay? So this is really, really awesome. New belts, new idler tire, new spring. Hmm. This bad boy has come a long way. I was really afraid I was going to have to rebuild that motor, okay, because that was the last thing I wanted to do. I did not want to have to do that. I did it to a Marantz. Thank God that worked out very well. So, but like I said, I didn't want to have to do that to this. This deck didn't have a lot of use. Somebody slammed it on the floor or punched it and bent this frame so bad that the little switch couldn't tell there was a cassette tape in it. So this thing hasn't run. Shit, who the hell knows? 20 years? And she's flying now. Outstanding. Well, today is a good day. Even though these tires, they didn't look the same. This pulley has an 11.4 inside diameter. Okay. So, <clears throat> let me give you a measurement on this tire. I'll be right back. 
this tire has a 10.8 inside diameter. It has an outside diameter of 16 millimeters. So 10.5 on the inside, 16 on the outside. All right. Let me get the thickness. And it's also three millimeters thick. Three millimeters thick, 16 millimeter on the outside, 10.5 on the inside. And the inside diameter of the pulley itself is 11.4 which means it has a nice grip around the pulley. <clears throat> now this old one might be good for something. It's not a total loss. <clears throat> but so far, I am super duper happy. It wouldn't even rewind this morning. It just sat there in the real motor was spinning but the idler tire wasn't going anywhere because it just wasn't gripping whatsoever but now it's kicking ass <clears throat> yeah i'd love to play you some music but like i said youtube i'm just a bunch of you know you know what Mm -mm. so hit the like button and the subscribe button i have to put the face back on be careful not to break that plastic so don't try it you got to take the tape out anyway so i'm gonna put the face back on put the lid back on and uh I'll be back. Okay. When you put the face back on, okay, always make sure that the deck is still functioning. Okay. Because of this little switch right here. Okay. If the cassette doesn't push that in, if you don't hear that breaker or that solenoid, then that means it's not even detecting a tape and it won't function. Okay, so that's the noise you want to hear. All right. So, once you know you're all good, and then you can put the top back on. Fast forward. outstanding and this morning it wouldn't even move and that's what I'm talking about someday I'll have to change that pinch roller but for right now it's got all kinds of torque so if it ain't broke don't mess with it. Just saying. I have a nice pinch roller in here somewhere. I sanded it down to size. It needs to have an 8 millimeter width. Okay, so I had to wet sand the brass. Okay. 0.3 millimeters because it was 8.3 wide so it would have never fit so after wet sanding it with some 600 grit emery cloth and now it's the perfect width it's 1.5 millimeters bigger than that one 1.5 millimeter it's not gonna hurt it at all i've seen men put 13 millimeter idler tires 
and a pioneer and it worked perfectly so that'll be the next project whenever it needs to be done but for now I'm a very happy camper so y'all have a good day <clears throat> party on